Well, I don't support forced consolidation. I'm a former school board member. I have a lot of respect for local control. So what we've done is we've made sure that there are no state laws or policies or rules that uh, prohibit local school boards and local communities from working with their neighboring districts and consolidating. And we also let, now let them keep the money that they save from consolidating. Uh, and, and so now it's up to the voters to, in those districts uh, to, to vote and decide whether they want to consolidate. And I think that's the right way to pursue it. What I find when I travel around the state, and I've done a lot of it, I've had over 250 school visits and visit over 1,000 classrooms. I literally have the pickup with over 200,000 miles on it. You know, it's not just a campaign gimmick. I actually do. Uh, and I put the miles on, that, on my own vehicle uh, visiting schools and uh, visiting with teachers. When I get into small rural communities, some of the most conservative you'll find in Idaho, when you talk about consolidation, it scares them to death because they're afraid what you're talking about is dissolving their local school board, shutting down their school, putting their kids on a bus, and sending them over the mountain range to the next school, and that, that concerns them. And so what you find is that everybody thinks we should consolidate except their own district, right? It's, it's, it's one of those things. Um, what we've done is we've worked with districts across the state to give them ideas and incentives to begin to consolidate their services because that's where the duplication happens. It's not that you have multiple school boards, they don't make any money, it's that you have multiple transportation departments, you have multiple professional technical opportunities, you have 115 uh, you know, uh, uh, payroll departments. So we've worked with districts to consolidate those services, and you're seeing more and more districts do that, and, it, and it's saving the kind of administrative money that, that we need to save.